Good morning, mate. How you going today? I hope you're having a good day. I'm not doing too bad today. All right, ready for this one? Pumpkin damper. All right, first of all, we need pumpkin. I like using butternut, but you can use any pumpkin you want. And we also need one large onion. So we preheat our oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Now I've used half a pumpkin. So what we want to do is when we've roasted it, we want to get two cups of mashed pumpkin. So I've roughly used half a pumpkin and hopefully it's going to be enough. If in doubt, use a little bit more. All right, so I've, I've cut it up and cleaned it up, but I leave the skin on, all right, and put the skin face down. The onion, peeled it, leave it whole, and I've just covered it lightly in olive oil, or if you haven't got olive oil, you can use like normal oil. A little sprinkle of salt, a little sprinkle of pepper. Okay, and now we want to roast it until it's nice and roasty. I took 50 minutes, so now what we want to do is we want to measure out two cups. I've let it cool down so I can see how it's already mashed itself. It's awesome. Oh, that was awesome. That worked out to two cups, so that was great. So it was roughly 750 grams I put in there to roast. Okay, so now we get our onion, and what we want to do is we want to push out all the inside. Once you've chopped it up as much as possible, all right, we want to leave them both aside until they go completely cold. All right, so what I should have said with the pumpkin in the oven, if you're doing it on a campfire, uh, wrap your pumpkin and onion in alfoil and either throw them near or on the coals. Just make sure the skin side's down for the pumpkin and just push on it every now and again until it feels soft and then you know it's ready. All right, the next thing we need to do now everything's gone cold is we need to preheat our oven at 220 degrees Celsius or get your... Um, uh, bush oven ready to go. Alright, we need 80 grams of butter and we need to melt it down on really low heat. And now if you're out in the bush, just put it into a heat proof container of some sort. Just sit it next to the fire and it'll be enough heat to melt it for you. In a bowl we want two cups of self-raising flour, good sprinkle of salt and an even better sprinkle of pepper, two eggs, Two tablespoons of milk. Add the pumpkin and the onion. Add your melted butter. Now I like to mix it by using, I love using these scraper things with doughs and stuff, but I always use the handle and I'll mix it with the handle of any instrument you got. Can you see that? you do that, get yourself a cookie tray ready and put lots and lots of flour on the bottom. Okay, plain flour. Turn it out onto it. Alright, lots of flour on top. Now we just want to work it until we can make it into a workable peak, like work, workable circle. So. Okay, once we can get it into an actual lump, see it's going to be all gushy still, that's how damper is. Just keep rolling it like you can, and then you want to dump it on your tray. Okay, once you've got it in a pile on there, just sort of pat it into a circle. Sort of pleat it all on the top. Alright, I like using my fingers, but you can uh, use a brush if you want to, pat it down. Okay, the pumpkin one I love putting slits in, so I'll cut, not too full on, but a little, little ridge in it, and I'll do it the opposite way. And then I'll just do a couple of littler ones. Once I've done that, Sprinkle with a little bit of flour. Oh yeah. And in the oven she goes. Oh, check this little beauty out, eh? Oh, it smells amazing. All right, I'm gonna cut a piece open. Check this beauty out, oh my gosh. You can see a little bit of bits of pumpkin still through it and the onion, look at it, it's just perfect. It's beautiful. Boy, thank you guys so much for watching. 
definitely give it a go. It, it is a great damper. Have an awesome day. Bye.